Hey guys, welcome back. So as promised, I told you guys that I would do a video later on today about uh, the minor hash rate comparison with the, all the miners that I have. So let's take a look at the numbers here really quick. This should be a short video, a couple minutes only, five, ten, I don't think five, ten minutes, but five, eight, five, eight minutes or so. We'll hopefully get that through that relatively quickly here. So here we go. All right. So here is the current, uh, let me see, this is the current market cap of all of these companies, right? So BitFarmers is at one billion, Hive is at 1.8, Hut is at 2.4, Marathon is at five, Riot is at 2.8, Argo is at 850 million, and DigiHost is at 173 million. And then here is the total calculated hash rate that I calculated on them for all the miners that they're going to have and through all the announcements that they have. So if we look at BitFarms really quick here, these are all the miners that they're going to have later on, you know, installed or at the end of 2022. So we're going to 2022 with this. We're including all the miners that are going to be installed in those years as well. So there's going to be a lot of miners, a lot of hash rate going up. So if we take a look at it here, so BitFarms by the end of 2022 should be at 6.74, it looks like. Hive at 3.94. Um, HUD provided that they're going to be at 3.57, so I'm off just by a little bit. Um, I have to adjust my numbers there. So they're, I have them at 3.53 right now, which isn't too far off. Uh, Marathon is going to be at 13.34. Riot at 8.16. Argo at 3.69. And DigiHouse at 1.14. So obviously the... Petahash wise, as far as who the leaders are, it's obviously Marathon's first, Riot, followed by BitFarms, Hive, Argo, Hut8, and DigiHost. Currently, number of miners, which isn't always a good sign, is um, BitFarms has 96,000 miners right now, which is a lot, but they are also mining at an average speed of 70 uh, gigahash or terahash. I think it's terahash. I can't even remember those. Uh, but they're mining at 70,000 hashes per second. And then we got Hive with 46,191 miners by the end of 22 and an average speed of 85,000, which is really good, um, which is the third one, it looks like third best in line right now. And then we got Hut 8 at 46,495 miners and we're gonna be at around, right around 75,000 um, for the speed, almost 76, which is really good too. Uh, Marathon obviously is one of the best ones here with 132,000 miners and all those miners are above 100,000 uh, hash rate which is outstanding for them. So that's why I think the price has gone way up because of the miners that they have been buying. So the only problem now is, will they actually get all the miners when they're supposed to get them? Um, obviously, they're buying a lot. Um, hopefully, the suppliers can keep up with them along with the manufacturers. And then we don't get any further shipping delays. Um, Riot will have 81,000 uh, miners, also at um, 100,000 hash rate, which is really good. And then Argo is at 46,900 with an average hash rate of 78,000. And then DigiHost with 18,120. And average miner speed is going to be 63,189. So winners to losers, Marathon, Riot, Hive, Argo, Hot8, BitFarms, DigiHost. And that's the order for those guys. And then if we look at the market cap divided by the peta hash rate, so look at this, divided by that, we get a ratio basically, how many times... Uh, the petahash goes, or one petahash goes into the uh, market cap. So for bit farms, it's at 152,000 or 152 million per petahash, right, to get to the 1 billion right here. Hive is at 475 billion or 575 million to get uh, to their base on their petahash here. Hot8 is at 704 million which is a lot. Um, Marathon is at 380 and Riot is at 346 million. Argo is at 230 and DigiHost is 151. So based on these numbers, um, they obviously have, it's basically represented they have a lot of hash rate coming in line with compared to their uh, market cap currently. Uh, market cap is obviously higher for Hut and Hive right now, and that's why we're seeing you know, they get the lower hash rates here around four and three and a half. And that's why you're seeing the multiple or the amount being here higher than the rest on those. And then if you look at the market cap divided by the number of miners, so based on the number of miners they have, so we're taking the market cap divided by that, and you're getting these numbers here, which is um, basically per miner. They're valued at 10,724. Hut or Hive is at 40,595. Hut 8 is 53,000, Marathon is at 38,000, Riot is at 34,000 per miner, 
and Argo is at 18,000 per miner, and DigiHost is obviously 9,580. So it seems like they're based, if you look at miner count, they would be, uh, Hut is probably the most overvalued, I guess we could say, based on the miners. I mean, if you look at the average here, the average here is um, 29,000. So that would be the average on these miners of where they probably should be all, but they're not. But it's uh, 53,000, obviously, for Hut. And then these two are pretty close. And they're pretty close to pretty much everything here as well, Marathon and Riot. So they're right in com competition for with each other. Um, yeah, but Hut 8 is the most, um, I think people are giving it the most, how can I say this properly without um, screwing this up? So investors are giving them the most benefit of the doubt, I believe, as far as where they can go uh, based on the number of miners they have and what their current uh, market cap is right now. Um, followed by, you know, uh, Marathon, where do I have Marathon in here? should be should be Hut, Hive, and then Marathon. So Hive should be number two here. And then I did some further math uh, going into it as well. So I wanted to show you guys this. This is the total hash rate of the uh, Bitcoin block uh, network right now. So we've had a huge spike in the network um, here in early in May, and then obviously dropped down after the China ban on it. And we've been picking up ever since. So if you look at the all-time high, and you look at it on the logarith logarithmic scale, you can see that it is continually just going up high. So I took in took the numbers for the hash rate for the last, what is it, 10 years, uh, where it ended the year, or where it started the year actually, for each year, and the following year. So we have, um, obviously from 2012 here, to, uh, from 2011 to 2012, we had a 75 uh, times increase in the hash rate. And then following that, every year we had a 2.7 increase, 4.58, 2.92, 2.2 times, 3.36, 6.57. We had a huge increase here, obviously, after Bitcoin ramped up to uh, 20,000 here in 2017. We had a lot of people buying miners and getting those installed. And then we had a 2.5 increase in hash rate, uh, 2019, 2.53, and then 1.53. So I took the average of these, which came in at uh, 3.2, and I just used... Uh, for next year, basically a hash rate increase of 2.5 from where we are right now. And then this was obviously giving us um, what their possible share of the market is going into next year with all of these miners being installed here in the hash rate that they'll have. We also know that we're gonna be mining Bitcoin at uh, 900 BTC per day. So then this gives us the amount they're gonna be making per miner basically per day. So then we multiply that by the total number of miners that they have, and these are the daily amounts that we're getting for all of the miners. Monthly amounts here, and then obviously yearly amounts, and then what their uh, market cap could be. So I believe we have, uh, I should have, we got Hive here, or no, no, this is BitFarms is at 7, uh, 7.8 billion. Hive is at uh, 4.5 billion. Uh, and then this is, uh, I should have, let's do this. Really quick, we'll copy this over so we know which ones we're talking about here. Okay, so we got bid farms at uh, 7.8, Hive is at 4.5, Hut 8 should be at 4, and Marathon at 15, Riot at 9 billion, Argo at 4.2, and DigiHost at 1.3 billion. If everything stays the same, the price of Bitcoins is at 63,433 uh, right now, if it stays there. But if we have the price go up to, say, $150,000 and, you know, it stays there, we're looking at a much, much larger numbers here. Um, 18.5 for BitFarms, 10.8 for Hive, 9.6 for Hot 8, 36 for Marathon, uh, 22, 10, and then 3. That's just if Bitcoin stays there. Obviously, if Bitcoin falls back down, we just don't know. I mean, we could go down, but we also could go up. We could be going up to 250,000, as some are saying. So let's put in that. So now you're seeing all of these outstanding uh, market caps with a PE of 20. Obviously, some of them are getting a higher PE ratio, but we're just taking a 20 market cap, uh, and this is on gross, not net. So then divide this by another 75, 50% of that, and you'll get what your net possibly could be. So this is 30 billion, 18, 16, 61, 37, 16, and uh, 5 billion market cap just on gross revenue. So a lot of interesting stuff going on, obviously. The miners are still buying more. I thought they would kind of slow down buying miners, um, basically because of fears of possible bear market coming up next year. 
Uh, some people are saying that we could go into Q1 with the bull run, but after that we could get into a little bit more of a bear market where price may fall in Bitcoin. We just don't know. Obviously, we have more institutional investors. We have the Bitcoin ETF futures. We have countries now accepting Bitcoin as a legal currency. So we have a lot of unknown variables that we didn't have in the past that obviously have uh, increased the, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Increased uh, the adoption rate, at which we're having it uh, in Bitcoin and other countries as well. So that's gonna play a role into it as far as how much of a bear market we have, if we have one. If I don't think we're gonna go down 80%, I think we may go down 30, 40, 50% from the all time highs or maybe even less, uh, we just don't know. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this. This is obviously pretty interesting if it plays out that way. I think there's a lot of money still left on the table here to be made in these stocks going into 2022. So um, not financial advice, do your own research as always. <clears throat> and just let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. All right, thanks guys, thanks for watching. Today's Friday, so I'll post a video on um, the weekly and minor updates tomorrow when all the stocks close and we get the week, um, we get the Friday close on Bitcoin as well. And we'll do a comparison to see how they did compared to Bitcoin. So that's it. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until